to promote to the world a spot, whether man-made or natural in Bohol. I would have like a hell cut. Like a hell cut. Good morning, everyone. So, along with the second room. Yes, I was informed by Angel. Even with the first question I'll ask you, tell us something about yourself. Hello, my name is Pauline Cucharo Amlings. I'm your Boholana Belgian from, of course, the beautiful province of Bohol. My dad is a Belgian and I'm Filipina, so I'm like a mix of both cultures in one, and I'm very excited to be here today. Um, what is one beautiful word in your local language, and what does it mean? I would like to choose the word pohon. It means hopefully. It's a word that we use whenever we talk about something that is going to happen in the future. Like, I'm going to join Miss Universe Philippines, pohon, hopefully, with God's blessing. What is that one learning experience that you had as a child that made much impact on you? One learning experience I had as a child was that I had to not be shy when it comes to myself and when it comes to my body and my capacities. I was very shy, always in the corner, but my mom and my dad always kept telling me, you have to really be out there. That's the only way for you to grow. That's the only way for you to shine. And then, uh, what is that one major lesson that you learned uh, during this time? I think I learned so many things from cooking to, to planting, but I think one thing that I really learned is how interconnected everything really is. From the animal world to the human world, from communities, inter-province, and I think that that just reminds me of the fact that we all play a part in fighting this pandemic and that we can all rise together. Well, if you were the crown, how would you help your community? I would want to be a spokesperson and a rallying point to bring people together in meaningful conversation and together look for solutions. And I think that with this platform of influence, that's something I can really do. Oh, uh, what color symbolizes the phenomenal moment? Oh, that's very interesting. For this moment, I would like to choose pink. Pink is the color that would symbolize me as a phenomenal woman. And uh, pink is also something that you will have to watch out for during my, uh, my performances for a preliminary or evening gown. I'm not going to mention which one, but I'll just tell you that. And it's also my favorite color. I have an emotional relation with that color because every time my dad would give me gifts, it would always be something pink. Um, I'm, I'm excited to see all your pink colors. <laughs> In the next few days. Yes. I'm also excited to find out. Yeah. So if given a chance to promote to the world a spot, whether man-made or natural in Bohol, mm -hmm. what would it be? I would have to choose the Lobok River Cruise. The Lobok River, I don't know if you've tried it. I hope that you've had. You tried it? So hopefully then you agree with me. The Lobok River Cruise is really one of the more amazing things that you can do in Bohol. It's not just good food, it's not just you being on that river cruise, but it allows you to interact with the locals in dance and in song. And every time I'm there, I always make it a point for me to dance at Tindikling with the locals, even though I risk getting my, my feet hurt with the bamboo. But it's really one of the things I would want everyone to know about here in Bohol. Um, let's go on the work side now. No? That, uh, that's the creation, now let's go to the work side. We've been hearing the word work from home. Yes. So, what do you think are the skills that we need to uh, develop for the workplace of the future, as we call it? Whew, I have worked from home also during, during the first few months of the pandemic. I'm sorry, it's a bit cold. During the first few months of the pandemic. And I think patience is one thing that we all need to work on on ourselves, especially with the internet connection that we have at home. There's so many times that I've had meetings and then my internet connection would fade out and then I wouldn't hear the rest of it. I think patience above everything else is something that we need to work on. And from then on, we at least have the clear mind to work on everything else. <laughs> There's a campaign called Hashtag Love Local. Okay. 
So if you had a local product that you had to promote, what would it be? In? It would definitely be Raffia from Tubigan Loom Weavers. I'm not wearing it at the moment. I will be wearing it for one of the segments. For one of the segments. <coughs> definitely, yes. Oh, um, I'm not going to indulge any more information about that. But Rafia is really a product that's from my hometown in Tubigun. And it really takes so many people to make uh, a, Rafia, a Rafia roll. And there's so much thought and effort that goes into it. And it's a beautiful product with so many possibilities. What is, that, what is one thing that you think young people should focus on? At the moment, it's really staying strong and continuing their, their dreams of educating themselves, even during these pandemic times. We all are having a hard time, but that doesn't mean that our dreams, our passions are canceled. They're just on hold, and I think that they all need to have hope in their hearts to continue what they're dreaming on and to somehow make their dreams still come true. Thank you. Thank you, too. Thank you. It's Igorot inspired. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Not very warm indeed. Uh, I'll take that into consideration next time. <laughs> I think I did pretty well. I just wish someone told me it wasn't a closed door interview. It was an outdoor interview. So cold. That was my only. That was my only concern. But for the rest, I I loved talking to them.